Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another One Piece re chapter uh, reaction and review. This time it's chapter 1092 titled Tyrant Kuma's Rampage Through the Holy Land. Uh, so this chapter title is kind of on the nose. I think we can, just by reading that, it's pretty obvious what we're going to be seeing in this chapter. But yeah, I'm excited to see what exactly is up with Kuma, I guess. Because we, we, we just saw a few glimpses of him. Uh, so I guess now we're gonna get a bigger picture of it. I don't know how much of the chapter will be focused on that. Just cause last chapter, uh, we ended off with, uh, Kizaru and Luffy sort of, um, uh, noticing, noticing each other, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to say they, they can, their paths converged, I guess. Uh, they didn't actually start fighting or anything, but yeah. Uh, I don't know how much of that we'll get, but let's just get started. Um, so we're going back. One day, go at Mary Joa. Uh, Kumu managed to climb all the way up. The, invis the invincible slave has returned. Soldiers stop him. He's too much. Yeah, they've got chains around him, but he is, he, he just keeps going. Uh, he's trying to go somewhere. Rusus shock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he just, I guess he just, uh, what's the word? <laughs> just destroyed that entire area, I guess. Uh, who's this in the background? What do you think you're doing? Picking up where the Revolutionary Army left off? Oh, okay, it's Sakazuki. <laughs> uh, I don't... Okay, my faith in Kuba kind of went down a bit. I don't think he can do anything about against uh, Akainu. Uh, the damage you've done here is unprecedented, Kuma. Fleet Admiral Sakazuki. I guess that's one of the Royal Guards. Uh, and these are the celestial dragons, I guess. I don't know why they're why they wouldn't just run away. You miserable excuse for a guard, a a kainu. I wanted a lobster for dinner last night, and they told me it was out of stock. This has never happened before. How could you let the food supply of Mary Joa dwindle? Like, like, why are they even worried about that right now? They're <laughs> they're in a battlefield. Oh my gosh. And it, it's weird, he's not even complaining like, oh, you should have a better job protecting us. He's just, he's just mad about his lobster. Like, what? Uh, never mind that. You've allowed someone to hurt us. Hurry and defeat Kuma the Tyrant. Execute that lowly slave. Well, Kuma, if we can't control you, this is it. We can't allow dangerous men like you run wild. And he's, you know, he's turning his fist into magma a bit. Uh, your personality was supposed to have been erased years ago. Where in the world could a walking corpse like you have to go? And he does Hellhound. I can't... Did that get him? It looks like it just took a, a chunk of Kuma out. Oh, yeah, 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 it did. Uh, seems you seems you do still have blood pumping in those veins. Hold it, Kuma. Oh, and Kuma's just running, I guess. Oh, and then Sakazuki gets him with the magma in the leg. Oh, but Kuma, he uses uh, the pawpaw to just uh, fly away, I guess. Um, short flash of the past. It doesn't matter how much you cry about it. Kuma's consciousness. So, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm. This is when, like, if I'm not mis... Oh, is, this, is this when uh, Jewelry Bonnie was, like, chained up uh, when Blackbeard captured her? I don't know, the background kind of looks like a, like it might be a castle or something, so it could be she was caught at Mary Joa when she was there during the, the reverie, but I don't know. Um, uh, this is Sakazuki talking to her. Uh, it doesn't matter how much you cry about it, Kuma's consciousness will never return. He volunteered to be a we reborn as a weapon. Liar, he'd never offer himself up. He'd never, he'd never leave me behind. Akainu, where did Kuma go? You let him escape, and you have the gall to call yourself Fleet Admiral. Where could you be go? Who is he talking to right now? I'm trying to... Maybe that's just one of the Celestial Dragons or something. Um, you've lost your will, your mind, everything. You're just a puppet now. Okay, now we're going back to Egghead, I guess. That was just a quick look about what's going on there. Kuma, he, he like, he used his pop off fruit to just pop away. I don't know where exactly he went, but I guess we'll see later. Yeah, we're in Egghead now. Uh, there's an announcement going on between the Navy saying, destroy the weaponized sea beasts. 
Oh yeah. And the the Mark III pacifistas are just decimating all the CVs. It's not it doesn't even seem like there's any struggle. Um We've made landfall at the Fabrio Stratum. Uh, proceed with the uh, with the occupation of the island. Admiral Kizaru has gone ahead to infiltrate the lava stratum above the clouds. Uh, let's see. It's clear you really are the man who took down. Ky oh, they're just jumping right into the battle. Uh, looks like did we? Did, uh, we we probably saw Luffy go to get it for a Snake Man. I just don't remember it, but he threw a bunch of punches at him. I guess. Uh, you're a tough one, and yet I have to wonder why a pirate like you would want to protect a Vegapunk. Right back at you. Why do you want to kill Ample Gramps? Want? <laughs> I mean, I I guess Kizaru doesn't really care either way. I mean, he was close to Vegapunk. I don't know. It's it's just that Kizaru's whole point is that he's he's hard to figure out. I mean, that's he's unclear justice. That's that's the point. Um, want? It looks like he he flashes away. What, how far did he fly? Oh my gosh, he's literally like miles, uh, or maybe not miles, but he's way far away from the island now. It's not like I want to kill him. I've known Vegapunk for a long time, you know. Now please, don't get in the way. After all, speed is power. Yeah, and he's zipping towards him. Oh, it looks like he lands a kick on him, and it looks like that's going to be real rough. Hmm? Vega Force One is finally fin. Oh, this is a, this is like him talking in the past. Vega Force One is finally finished. The giant robot mankind has always dreamed of. Yeah, but not. Luffy crashes into Vega Force One, and it yeah it 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 doesn't look like it's gonna be able to recover from that. Um. Oh, and Luffy just keeps flying. Looks like he hit the force field. Luffy. Yeah, the the robot just f fell apart. Uh, and this is Lilith right here. Ah, ah, Frankie, Bonnie, run. Lilith, Vega Force One is going to... Yeah, it just explodes. <laughs> it's it's done for. Um, The O-1 was her dream robot. I'm not letting this slide. Is the Sunny all right? Straw Hat got blown away. Kizaru, you scum. Oh, and he's... <laughs> Kizaru is going after... Uh, uh, the other people, I don't know what to call this group. It's Frankie, uh, Bonnie, and Lilith. I think that's all who is here. I forget the groups, but, um, Kizaru, you scum. You've gotten quite a bit taller, Bonnie. Kids these days sure do grow fast. I'm here on orders to eliminate Dr. Vegapunk. You have it out for him, right? Don't get in the way. No, oh, that's, that's Bonnie talking, saying, you have it out for him, right? Don't get in the way. Um, Let's just say I realized that the person I should be targeting is someone else. Timely thrust. She goes for attack, but he, yeah, Kizaru just dodges it easily. Please don't make me hurt more old friends than I have for this mission. And yeah, he kicks her in the back of her head. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this does not look like it's going to go over well for them. Watch out, he's behind you. Yeah, too late. And she goes flying off, hits the force field as well. Frankie's gonna try to attack, I guess. Kizaru, take this. Radical? Huh? Where'd he go? He disappeared. Oh no, the Stella's in danger. Hey, control room. Okay, they're contacting control room, I guess. Um, Labostram control room. Every Everything okay, Frankie? We just heard a huge bang. Bang. And, uh, I guess Vegapunk looks happy about something. Eureka, we've cracked the code, really? Take that, York. Oh, is that the to take down the force field? I, I'm assuming that's what that is. Um, and York's just on the ground, mad about it. Um, Frankie Coon, we can disable the barrier. Has the Vega Force One carried your ship to the back of the island? No, it. Yeah, and Kizaru's just saying your escape plan has failed, Vega Punk. I'm afraid your dream robot is far out of reach after what I did to it. He's a, oh, he, uh, he's at the control room. I thought he was like, he like was talking through the transponder now. Like he, he appeared next to Frankie or something. But no, he's literally in the control room right now. When did you, yeah, we're done for. Please understand, this isn't an easy mission for me. And I don't want to drag it out. 
Yeah, that her. What? Oh wait, that's from the transponders now, I guess. Or what? Oh wait, no, no, no. That's from that's from Luffy. He's gotten into Gear Five now, and he just grabs Kizaru because of course he can. Man, it really burns. What? <laughs> and yeah, everyone gets the Looney Tunes eyes popping out of their sockets. There you are. This is, and I guess he trails off. You have some nerve knocking me all the way down here, down there. I had to grow. I had to cross that barrier twice. I thought it was gonna kill me. <laughs> Wait, did he go through the barrier and then he just passed by through? Okay. Oh, wait, and then, what? <laughs> and then we just get a cut of the, oh, I forget what it's called, the the ancient robot, and it looks like it's powering Han or something. And then the chapter ends. Oh my gosh. Oh. This was a very fun chapter. I don't know, I don't know what to say. It was a lot of action, which I think makes it hard for me to have a whole bunch to talk about. But it looks like Luffy's going to be able to hold his own against Kizaru. Uh, just using Gear 5th and everything. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to say he'll beat him necessarily, but I guess we'll see. I mean, he's got him in his... He, he, he has him in his hand right now. He just went giant and grabbed Kizaru. I don't know what Kizaru can do in this situation. I mean, Luffy obviously has hockey. So Kizaru can't just simply turn into light. So, like... Yeah. Um. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what else to say. This was gonna be another short video. Um. Oh yeah, we we saw that. We saw what the the entire chapter was named after, which was Kuma at the start, uh, rampaging through Mary Joa. Um. I don't. I I don't know where he could be going, cause he just flew away. He. I mean. I guess, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to see where Kuma's gone because I don't. Ha! I don't. I don't know. It, it looks like. I mean, I don't think he would stay here any longer just because uh, Sakazuki could probably beat him. I wouldn't say super easily, but it 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 wouldn't be too hard for him to beat Kuma. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this chapter. Uh, please tell me your thoughts on this chapter or on this video in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, remember to save the blobfish. Bye.